Uh, time is 6.44, new on Daybreak. Colts mascot Blue is hoping to mark a milestone fresh off his election to the Mascot Hall of Fame. He will attempt to go 10 for 10 this season in the non-stop toss. Blue is here. I promise you, he's ah, <laughs> where, there he is. Good morning, Blue. Brought his own spokesperson, <laughs> Stephanie Pemberton from the Colts front office. Thanks so much for coming in this yeah, morning. Yeah, thanks for having us. Um, so speaking for Blue, yes. how exciting. This has been a great season for him. It has. Hall of Fame. We are on track. Yes, he just got inducted into or just named an inductee for 2020 for the Mascot Hall of Fame. So really excited about that. Um, but then he has had quite the streak this year as well. So if you've been to a Colts game, you might have seen. Yeah. He has this football toss that he does. So from 45 yards away, up in the 400 level of the stadium, he is throwing a football into a barrel on the field. And he has made it nine out of nine times. It is incredible. Incredibly impressive. Yes. That is a feat. He's quite the athlete, let me tell you. Stop, <laughs> stop, Blue. I know. Um, so, what are. This, he's got to practice this. Yeah, they, well, they open up Lucas Oil for him. He practices a little bit, but you know what? He's just naturally talented. Wow. So, and actually, this uh, for this game, since it is such a big deal yeah. that he could go 10 for 10, he wanted to give fans an opportunity to be a part of the excitement in an even bigger way. So, he's teamed up with Allegiant, and you can register to be a part of this experience at colts.com slash, uh, slash Allegiant, and there will be 10 fans that are selected. They're going to get tickets to the game. And and they get to be up there while Blue makes the toss. And then if he makes his, or when he makes, yes, when he makes yes. his 10 for 10 <laughs> shot, they will each win $1,000 worth of airfare from Allegiant. So it's a fun opportunity to get fans involved, and uh, we're really excited for him. So how do you think he's feeling about the added pressure of having that audience all around and hoping that they get something out of this? If there's anything I know about Blue, he thrives under pressure. So <laughs> I think he's got this... Uh -huh. All buttoned up. No, no <laughs> concerns, right, Blue? You're used to all He's eyes to on you. Uh, this is fun. He's been resting the shoulder, so you know, okay, should be in good shape. Yeah, you've, good shape. you've got some pretty skilled trainers yep. in, in that stadium there for you, so <laughs> you should be in good shape. Uh, any, any other exciting plans for the as the season's wrapping up? Yeah, so this is our fan appreciation game. So we have some uh, special opportunities for the fans. Um, every fan that comes is going to get a special Colt Santa hat, um, which will be a nice giveaway, and then. And um, our anthem winner is actually a fan. We had a big contest, and we had over 250 at 250 fans entered to win to sing the national anthem. So oh, we have cool. a local 15 year old that's going to be singing the anthem. Um, so we're really excited about that as well. That'll be great. All right, Blue, we're going to let you rest, rest the shoulder. Although I, I don't know if you want to do any forecasting for us. You need to maybe use your left arm with Randy. <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> Sorry, thanks, Rand. I had to <laughs> set from it up. To blue yeah, here, that's so. right. From yeah. Drew to Blue. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, go, go ahead there, Drew, uh, Blue. Do, do your thing, Blue, here. There there you go. Oh man, really, really good. You know, Marcus is not here today, and I know what you normally do when Marcus is here, so don't you usually. There you go. Oh my goodness. That was for Marcus Bailey. Hey, also, Blue, let me see the uh, let me see those muscles there. Not bad at all. Look at that. Yes! There we go. There we go. All right. We appreciate that. So otherwise here, this is a live picture down in Bloomington right now. Uh, maybe a little patchy fog or temperature 22 degrees. We've had a little freezing drizzle into uh, parts of central Indiana, but not showing up on radar and hopefully not going to cause any problems with the roadways. Uh, we zoom in and again, a lot of this here is uh, ground clutter. Lake effect snow showers up north, parts of Michigan, northern Indiana, up around South Bend, also to the Fort Wayne vicinity here, but that should tend to stay north of central Indiana and not bother us during the day. Now they're a little push of cold air coming on down. We head through the day, kind of like yesterday, uh, skies will clear out during this afternoon with a partly to mostly sunny sky. So again, grab the sunglasses and that is going to set the stage for a really cold night tonight into early tomorrow morning. Outside right now, cloud cover a couple hours ago, the airport had some uh, flurries coming down. 22 degrees, a west wind at 10. Feels like temperature 11 degrees above zero. 22 here, 19 Richmond, 25 months. You factor in the wind and it feels like 7 Richmond, 11 here, and it feels like 10 degrees down into Columbus. So morning clouds, some afternoon sun. Noon temperature 22, by 5 o'clock temperature 23. Highs today, 
26 here in the city, 24 Lafayette and Kokomo, and 29 degrees down in Bedford. Heading through the evening hours, high pressure builds in, skies will clear out, light winds, radiational cooling. So it is going to be a cold evening and a cold night out there by 7 p.m. Temperature 20, 11 o'clock, 15 degrees. Lows tomorrow morning, 8 here, 7 months in Richmond and down to 6 degrees. Shelbyville also back out around Greencastle. After that cold start during the day tomorrow, Milder air eventually is coming our way. The jet stream is going to flatten out, but uh, still a kind of a chilly day during the day on Thursday. Highs tomorrow climbing up, mainly 30s, 32 here, 36 Greencastle, Bedford, Seymour. You guys may crack that 40 mark. And then as we head through the day on Friday, more clouds around. We'll have a weather system down to our south here. Should not bother us, but south winds blowing in across the area, and that's going to bring in some warmer temperatures. The weekend looks fantastic. A dry, a little warmer Saturday, 42, 44 degrees during the day on Sunday, dry all the way through. Your Chapman heating, cooling, plumbing, eight day forecast. No storms coming our way until after Christmas Day. And boy, goodbye snow cover. Highs for really the first half of next week. Upper 40s to right around 50 degrees on Christmas Day. And we could have a chance of maybe some rain coming in, oh, by Thursday or Friday of next week. So good news here, Steph. I know for us snow lovers, we yes. would like to see the snow hang around. But for people traveling, that's a pretty good forecast. Absolutely. And it's looking warm, too.